Welcome back. The Lexington Fayette County Health Department is encouraging women to get screened for breast and cervical cancer. And there are options available for women who may not be able to afford it under normal circumstances with a special event coming up. And here to tell us more about it today, we welcome Laura Collins from the Health Department and also Kim Blakeman with the Kentucky Pink Connection. Thank you both so much for being with us. Thank you. Well, we know that early detection is the key to fighting pretty much any cancer. And tell us why it's so important that women get these two, two specific screenings. Um, those are the most common cancers in women and the earlier we can screen the women for breast and cervical cancer and, and actually find it, the better the outcome, the easier they are to treat and the better the outcome in the long run. And tell us a little bit about Ken, uh, Kentucky Pink Connection and how this organization is involved with this. Um, Kentucky Pink Connection is a nonprofit organization um, based here in Lexington and we're funded by a grant from the Susan G. Komen Lexington affiliate and also a small grant from the um, Breast Cancer Trust Fund, the pink license plates that you see in the state. And we have partnered with the health department over the last couple of years to help in the screening events. And one thing that women can do that um, are in need of screening, if they have transportation issues, perhaps you know need a, a, a way to get to the clinic, um, we help with that. And then also, um, if they are going to the university for their mammogram, transporting them there as well. Um, we serve women across the state who are in need of breast health screenings and also women who have been diagnosed with breast cancer just to help eliminate any barriers they may face as it relates to, to those things. Well, this event is a specific day of screenings and give us the details on that. It's going to be October 8th at our Public Health North office. It's on uh, Newtown Circle. It's 805A Newtown Circle. Um, they can call in and make an appointment. Um, what we do is we do uh, offer the breast and cervical uh, screening and then uh, as Kim said, uh, her uh, office there will offer transportation if the patient doesn't want to drive themselves to UK for the mammogram. Then they'll bring them back and you know then they'll be done with the visit. Uh, but then they will also have a little health fair type thing in the lobby. Uh, for the ladies. And it's important to, to make an appointment for these because some of these can fill up pretty fast. Yes, they can. We do have appointments available right now though, but they do fill up fast. And you see the information listed there on your screen and the phone number if you'd like to call and make an appointment. And um, the way this works is it's not free but low cost available uh, to women based on right. what they can it's, pay. Right. It's uh, based on their income. It's a sliding fee scale and usually it's a minimal or no cost, but it is based on income and it's targeting women who are underinsured or uninsured. And as you mentioned, this is obviously an ongoing effort, but with next month being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I'm sure that Pink Connection is very much involved in getting the word out about how important this is. Absolutely, it's very important, and especially for those women who are rarely or never screened or may not have insurance or may not see a way to get these um, important screenings, this is a great way to come on a one day, a Saturday, you know, from nine to two, get an appointment, have the screening and the mammogram done all in one day, and you know, hopefully you're, you're free for the next year. So um, yeah, it's a pleasure for us to work with the health department in this event and really encourage any women that have, you know, put this off or have not had this done to please, you know, give us a call. Our number is 309-1700. And so if you have, if they have any questions regarding transportation, certainly give us a call as well. All right, well, thank you ladies so much for bringing this important information to our viewers and you've seen the website and phone number listed at the bottom of your screen if you're interested in making those appointments to be a part of it. Thanks again. Thank you. We will be right back with more news and weather after this.